Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Antoinette and I thought I'd take you along on a journey for grocery shopping today. I know a lot of people wonder like how do you save money for travel and I really think it's as simple as making wise choices, wise financial choices in the little things in life. Before we go out, this is my outfit for today. I am wearing a cowl neck sweater. It's a cotton wool blend. Followed by, of course, some standard J. Crew jeans. My grocery shopping usually begins with a list. I never go grocery shopping without one. The first thing I do is I plan out what I'm going to buy. So on this cool whiteboard I keep in my kitchen, I have everything that I'm gonna eat for the week. So it's basically meal planning. I used to just go to the grocery store and pick up anything that I wanted to. Like when I was hungry, I would go and just grab stuff. And you never should go to the grocery store hungry. Seriously, it killed my budget. So now that I'm not going to the grocery store all like starving anymore, I take the list that I created for my meal plan and I enter it into my phone. And I actually created a grocery spending plan using Excel on my phone. So it lists our allotment for the week, which is how much our budget is. So we're doing $100. Uh, how much I've spent of that $100, the amount remaining left to spend. And then I list the item, the actual price of the item, and my estimated plan costs of that item. So here we have in this column C, of our planned expenses, I've only spent $96.49 as the estimate, so I still have another $3.51 left to plan. And that's basically how I go grocery shopping. So come along with me and I guess you'll get to see it in action. Here we go. So this whole grocery meal planning, budgeting thing actually started back when I was in grad school. And I'd kind of been, you know, loosely keeping track of my money. And we'll say loosely, very kindly. I decided, hey, you know, I need to get my stuff together. Why don't I go and check out the Dave Ramsey program? And if what I'm doing isn't working, it's time to try another way. So I enrolled in Financial Peace University. And after that first week, you know, there was a government shutdown way back then. I was a student and look, we, we didn't get paid and I about lost my mind because as a student I didn't have money and how was I supposed to live off of no paycheck like in this expensive DC area. I really leaned into the Financial Peace University program, you know, through Dave Ramsey, baby step one, get a thousand dollars in emergency money. So I remember to get that first thousand dollars, I had a bunch of clothes because I'd previously worked part-time in retail. So I had a ton of clothes that I really wasn't wearing. So I sold those bad boys on eBay, made some really good money. Then I moved to baby step two, which is to pay off all of my debt. I'm still on baby step two now, but I have made a lot of great strides on it. I had tens of thousands of dollars on debt and now I'm just kind and I'm squishing all that away. And it feels great once you use the snowball method where you rank all your bills in order of how much you owe on them and you pay the littlest debt first. It makes complete sense because I try to pay off the ones with the biggest debt first or the ones with the biggest interest rate, but you lose motivation that way and I lost motivation that way. I just started paying off the little debts first and I saw a lot of little wins and that gave me the courage and motivation to be like, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. And so that's how I am on step two and I'm paying off my last student loan. Thank you, God. So if you're out there and you have like tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars in student debt, do not be discouraged, I suggest investing in the Financial Peace University, the classroom discussion, because there's something really powerful about that community of people who are in the exact same space that you are, or who are out of, who just got out of, you know, baby step two and they're on to baby step three and they're saving money, you know, towards their uh, fully funded emergency fund, three to six months, and then it's really a powerful experience when you have that community. So don't discount community when you're paying off debt and you're trying to save money. And in the meantime, if you're gonna travel like I am while on the Dave Ramsey program, Dave suggests, look, if you're gonna do what you're gonna do, then make sure you pay for it in cash. And so that's what we do. When we go out to travel, when I go to travel, all of our stuff is paid for in advance. Like we don't have any bills or debts coming back. And so yeah, so sorry to ramble, but that's kind of how I all got started on this 
grocery shopping meal prep plan. So if you feel me, feel free to leave a comment below and just tell me where you started from, you know? Everyone's got a story and this is mine that I'm sharing with you all. You know, it is what it is. We each have our own struggles and journeys and I feel like sometimes God takes us through situations to help us learn to grow. Had it not been for that financial struggle back in grad school, I can't tell you where I'd be now, really, honestly. So I'm really thankful that it happened to me, even though it sucked at the time, you know, being broke sucks, man. You know, you're trying to wash your gas, you're trying to cruise down the street, but I'm so glad that I went through that struggle because now I really, truly understand the importance of budgeting and saving and to really keep track of my finances, you know, have a budget. Actually, I don't even really like the term budget, so spending strategy. I have a spending strategy that I stick to, and I've been sticking to it for years and years because I found something that really works for me. So if you're ever struggling trying to figure out, oh, well, how do I do this, this sucks, I hate budgeting, just think of this. It's not a budget, it's a spending strategy. You are strategically spending your money in certain places, and by doing that, it gives you this boost of confidence, you know, this boost of energy that you can do it and you are doing it and the winds are, they feel so good, you know, compared to the depression and anxiety that comes with not having any money, but to know that you are secure, that you have that financial peace is something that's irreplaceable. So if you're in the middle of a debt journey and you're kind of struggling to get through it, just know that there is hope, there is a future, you can get out of it and you can get through it, there is a way out. Just take these little steps to get it done. Take little steps to make progress and all those little steps will eventually add up. Here are my little steps. It's grocery shopping. I like to eat, I like food. Y'all know I like cooking if you look at my channel. <laughs> I love to cook, I love to cook and eat good. So I have to watch my spending when it comes to grocery shopping and so this is how I do it. I make a list, I go out and I get the things I need. If there's any extra money in the budget, it's really cool to see because then I have to decide how, what am I gonna do with that money? You know, on Dave Ramsey plan, we're on a zero base budget, which means you account for every dollar you spend. And yes, I use the every dollar app in my shopping too. So if I have extra money left over in my grocery spending strategy, then I could either apply that towards something that I really want at the grocery store. Maybe we'll, hey, maybe we'll splurge and have like a shrimp dinner, you know, that I make at home. Or it can go towards paying off debt, or it can go towards some other savings plan. It can go towards a trip that I'm gonna take. But it's all these little decisions that help you make and to reach your ultimate goal. So yeah, I got all excited talking about spending strategies and saving money that I actually forgot to bring my shopping list and my phone with me. Isn't that a shame? Mm -mm -mm. We finally made it to Sam's Club after that wonderful little mishap with my phone. And let's go ahead and get to shopping. Look at all this stuff. Look at all these snacks. Buying in bulk also saves you a ton of money. First thing we're going to do is pull up my app, my grocery shopping list. But I think we just need some naan. I have $5.98 and maybe some type of fruit. Let's see what we could find. Here's what we came here for, the naan. You've seen this in my naan baked, in my naan pizzas. I love it. I had budgeted $5.98, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that to $4.98 now. $4.98. Done. We spent $4.98. We've got $95.02 left. What I also love about Sam's Club is there is this scan and go app so I don't even have to wait in line for anything. So we have our naan, our seedless grapes. Let's go ahead and check out right here in the store. Hit checkout. Our subtotal, $12.96. This looks good. Slide to pay. We slide it. Let's see, fruit. We spent $7.98. Whoops. Here we go. So our total, twelve ninety six. We have eighty seven oh four left to spend. Now we just have to scan this barcode on our way out. Here you go. <laughs> have a nice one. All right, thank you. You You're too. Welcome. And look, y'all, it was 
just that simple. One of the downsides of coming later in the afternoon, I usually like to grocery shop earlier in the morning, is the lines for gas are ridiculous. I only spent $9.75 for gas, which is pretty daggone good. Okay, so I like to use my Every Dollar app to add gas, $9.75, and hit save. And my transaction has been logged. We still have some more money in our gas category. Go back. Our groceries, you can see I've already added our Sam's Club purchase. And we're good to go inside Target. What I love about Target, too, is they also have an, a shopping app here where you can scan for different coupons and whatnot. You just scan any barcode here, and it's super cool. I always get a hand basket and check to see which one is the cleanest. And it looks like this one's good. We're gonna see if Target has any beans for our red beans and rice, hot sauce, kidney beans. see that they're on sale. Perfect. To the cart. There we go. Kidney beans. Red. Seven. Eight. Oh, we do need pasta sauce. For sure. Pasta, Tabasco, and that's about it. Let's see. Not nothing special. It says two twenty nine here, but the in store price is two oh nine, so it's usually the in store price. Where are you, hot sauce? Where are you? Here we go. We've got hot sauce, and I picked up some nice roasted red pepper hummus. And it's time to get out of Target before I do what most people do and get caught up with Chip and Joanna and all their fabulous products. Mmm. Do you notice how you've got the food, then you've got all this storage and organization stuff here? It's like, how do you not stop by? Look, it's like all of a sudden you might just need a pan by Chrissy Teigen. But no, you don't need a pan by Chrissy Teigen. I don't need Chrissy Teigen's pans right now. So it's time to get out of here and go. Rookie vlog mistake. Did not have an extra battery, so my camera ran out of battery, so now I'm on my phone. Let's shine bright everywhere we go. All these. We need to add these with a good old fashioned quarter. Ooh, that's good. Basically, my Aldi's experience. It's kind of no frills, super cheap. Anything you want, they have out in boxes. So, for instance, if you want some brownies or anything, $2.29 for a box of brownies. You just grab it and go. Chips are 89 cents. It's all really super cheap. Excuse me. Yes. Did I grab this? Thank you. I got all of this stuff all the way down to the bottom of the basket with fruits and vegetables for only $35. Such a steal. I love it. Last stop. Giant. I love buying fruits and vegetables because they last
bonus card has been accepted. So I just got finished with Giant and I am all done grocery shopping. That took longer than expected, but then again, I took phone calls and I was chatting. So at Target, I spent $19.63. At Giant, I just finished spending $10.04. And at all these, I spent $35.78. So with all those stores, I spent a combined total of $78.40. So that is definitely under my $100 budget. I did very well today, but that's how I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog right now because as you can see, look, it is getting late out here. But I hope you liked today's vlog. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up on saving money and how to do that grocery shopping little by little. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in another vlog. Bye everyone.